Welcome to Little Steps Videos. My name is Tim, and we're going to cover the Virtual or Virtua Win Desktop Program. It's a virtual desktop program, and I had it set up on other videos that I've used. However, today we're going to point out some of the key features. I tend to enjoy this particular virtual desktop program more than the others. Others that I'm going to present to you later have a few more bells and whistles and things called the cube which allows you to set it up much like they do in the Apple environment where you can basically push all your windows back on your desktop and spin them around with your mouse. It's a cool bell and whistle and I'm not going to say it's not. It is pretty neat but it does take up a lot of memory and it does tend to get confusing especially if you try going into some of the menus. We will cover those and I will go through those in a later video but let's get on with the program here and let's go and take a look at some of the key features of this program which is the virtual desktop virtual win please notice down here on my desktop down by my my clock and my start menu on my start menu bar which is moved over here on the left side yours would be down on the bottom unless you move it up here to the side as well but you notice the number six the number six represents which desktop i'm actually using and i have installed a module in the program itself. Now you can go to the module web page which I'll show you in just a minute here, but the module allows you to add features to the base program. The base program gives you a cool feature which is not included on most of the other applications for virtual desktop, which is the ability to move your mouse to the left side, right side of your screen, and change the desktops. This is a nice feature because sometimes you don't want to have to go fumbling for shortcut keys on your keyboard and this is one program that allows you to do that without ever having to touch your keyboard and still change desktop. Also with the different modules you can define custom shortcut keys to do the same thing. If I hit my alt and control button and then push the arrow keys I can in fact go through each and every one of my desktops. Again, this is an option that's currently on most of them. You have to have some way to use hotkeys or a combination of hotkeys and the mouse to switch your desktops. This program allows you to really customize that and I enjoy that because it's a good feature that allows you to determine which buttons you want or need to push to get the results that you want. That means this part of the program is fully customizable and it's really cool because it gives you the flexibility to define the keys that you want to press depending on if you're left-handed, right-handed, if you're using a left-handed mouse or right-handed mouse and so on. It's really advantageous to use a program that's free but it's also advantageous to use one that works best for you. Now I'm not going to say that there's not other programs out there that aren't good. However, free open source programs are pretty cool. Pardon my switching between windows there. I got a little sidetracked. And as you can see, when the mouse starts wandering around your screen, that can be an issue. However, if I right click on my icon here for the virtual desktop, and I click on setup, and then I can go over here on the tabs at the top, and I can click on my mouse. I can actually define which buttons I want to push in conjunction with the mouse in order to change desktops. I can determine how far my mouse is going to jump once I do change desktops and I can also set the time length in milliseconds for how long it will take before the mouse activates the desktop switching which means if I want to I can just hover my mouse for a half a second three seconds or four seconds so that's pretty cool because it does give you a lot of flexibility as far as how much time is used to switch between your desktops. Now you notice, if I go back here into setup, it's kind of cool because you'll notice this program allows you not only to stack your desktops side by side, which is six wide by one deep. You can also go between six by, or excuse me, five by four or four by five up to a total of 20 desktops total. I would suggest you use less desktops because as you add desktops, for one, it gets a little more confusing, and two is it may step on some of the other features and programs that I'm about to show you. 
And when I say programs, I mean an add-on or module to this program. Speaking of modules, let's step over there and take a look. I've only got two installed on this version of the Virtual Win program. There are more, and I'll go to those real quickly. But the switch desk and the preview. The preview I have up or installed because I want to be able to quickly pop up a screen to show me what I have on each desktop. And the switch desk allows me the feature of changing my desktop backgrounds for each individual desktop. The base program for Virtual Wind does not come with that option, so you do have to add the switch desk module in order to get the different backgrounds to work. There are a couple other modules that do offer background switching. However, this one works the best. Now let's go ahead and jump into the previews. I've already set mine up preview edition or preview module to activate once I press my control S button, control SAM, and this will give me a representation of every desktop that I have up, what backgrounds I have on each desktop. That's cool because that gives you a visual representation when you use different desktop backgrounds. It gives you a visual representation of which desktop you're currently on. That makes it easy for you to reference in your head what desktop you're on, what programs you have open in that desktop, and to be able to switch to it. Now you will notice, I'll point this out, and you may not be able to see it real clearly, I have one desktop here with a WordPad document open where I posted a link to get to the module page for Virtual Win, and I've got one here that's a different WordPad program that gives me the option to switch the desktops on the fly. You notice I can fly, but sometimes you want a preview. And I've already mentioned that by pressing my Control S, which is programmable. That means you can define which keys that you push to get to the preview and other features. In some programs that are out there that I'm going to go into in future videos, they don't always give you that option. You pretty much have to push what buttons they want. The previews that they have preset up are pretty much what you have to use. This preview is customizable. I can go in and change how it looks. I can add things. I can change the size of these preview windows, which gives me a cool option to add up to nine or even 20 windows here on this desktop, resize these preview windows so that it doesn't hang off the screen or I can't see all the desktops that I have active. Let's step on over here to the module page because I do want to point out a few things. You can see the switch desk option. Let me step on over here and I'll get you the link so that you can see http colon forward slash forward slash virtualwin dot sourceforge dot net forward slash modules dot php. Jump back up here and jump back over here to the actual web page. This is kind of a cool feature for the Virtual Win program. Other programs do not offer this feature. There are some other features, but again, I'll point those out in later videos. And this will give you a quick description. It will switch your wallpapers, and it will allow you to associate a particular photo or desktop background with each of your desktops. This is really cool and really a good feature. They've got virtual colors. The Virtual Plus program I've tried, it does not work real well. You might have better luck with it. Again, go through, read them, try the plugins, and I will demonstrate real quickly here how to put these on and how to use them. Virtual Preview is the one that I have here. And it's kind of cool because it does offer the option to preview. A time tracker, basically a module can be used to give you different features for the Windows environment. Let's get back to my previews. I do want you to note each of these features on this particular program you should try. You should become comfortable with the different layout here. They do have one that will allow you to switch in a little preview window, one of the modules again. But the cool thing about this is if you right click on your icon, you can switch between your desktops. You can click your desktop preview and you can go to setup and change these settings. I would recommend you do limit your number of your desktop. Keep it manageable for yourself and use these other modules sparingly. The le less is more because Again, I will reference my earlier video. Every program that you run, every module that you add to it does tend to slow your computer down. Utilitarian is 
probably the best buy word I can come up with. Keep your desktops uncluttered. Keep your computer uncluttered with extra programs that you don't need to be running. Use only what you need to make it more efficient for you. You can always turn on a program. In some cases, turning off programs can be a little difficult. Please notice here that if you go to the module tab and you go down here, you can click on get modules, which will take you to the module download. Now, one of the tricks to the module download, and please understand this, when you click on one of these, it will automatically open a window and allow you to download. You need to pick the location, and in some cases, it's a zip file. Please make a note of that. You will have to manually unzip the file once you download it. And from there, you will have to go to, bear with me for just a second here, you'll have to go to your hard drive, you'll have to go to the program files, and you will have to go down to the virtual win directory, which is right here. When you go down to here, you open this up or expand it, and you will see the modules option. Once you've downloaded, unzip the files, you copy the modules, executable files, into this folder. And this will automatically embed the modules into the Virtual Win program. Once you get to that point, it's all automatic. When you start the Virtual Win program, it will automatically put the modules into the program, embed them into what you're working on, and it will show up on this list. But Please take a note. You will have to restart the computer on some of the modules that you install. In this case, I can reload them, and in some cases, it will actually work. In some cases, it's making changes to your Windows registry, and some of the modules will not take effect until after you've restarted either your Windows session or you may have to restart the computer. Please be aware of that and make a note. Restart the computer. Try going into these modules again and see if you can configure them. If you highlight it, press the Configure button. It will give you the option. And you can see here, Desktop Preview and Full Screen. I manually made it Control-S to pull up my preview page. Work with the program. I do suggest that you work with several or all of these virtual desktop programs. Install them. It doesn't hurt anything. Uninstall them if you don't like them. Have a great day and thank you for supporting my work.